humans. To say that we are a complex species is an understatement. But were we ever meant to be simple creatures? At the core, humans have one thing embedded in them, as do all animals, to reproduce, i.e. make love, bang, get your freak on, or simply to have sex. Now, whilst reproduction for the survival of the species is at the core of our genetics, it is safe to say that we have evolved to a point where sex, i.e. tapping that, is at base a pure hedonistic endeavour, as much a part of our recreational enjoyment as playing computer games, watching football or going to war, though the latter perplexes me in modern times. With this explanation established, we can now discuss the more complex aspects of human sexuality. The word sexuality is defined as a person's sexual orientation or preference. What does this mean? Well, I myself am a man, and I like cake. Well, when it comes to things to do with sex, i.e. getting jiggy with it, I like women. And if you're a girl, then you like boys. Simple, right? Well, no. You see, kids, there are boys out there that like other boys, and girls that like other girls. This is called homosexuality, or for men, it can be described as being gay, which used to be a term for being happy, or for women, lesbian, of which there are some great videos online demonstrating lesbianism. Got it? Good, because it's going to get a little bit more complex. As well as boys liking boys and girls liking girls, you also have boys that like both boys and girls and girls that like both girls and boys. This is called being bisexual. And when I say bisexual, I don't mean that thing your father does when he goes to the red light district. To be bisexual means that you like both boys and girls. And if you thought that was confusing, well, hold on to your hats. It's about to get a little bit more complicated. Before we delve deeper, let me quickly explain asexuality. Asexual, an actual term, not an adjective, is described as somebody who has no sexual attraction towards any gender, meaning they have no interest in sex at all. Got that? Great. Pansexuality. Defined as a sexual attraction, romantic love, or emotional attraction toward people regardless of their sex or gender identity. Pansexual people may refer to themselves as gender blind, asserting that gender and sex are insignificant or irrelevant in determining whether they will be sexually attracted to others. Pansexuality is also referred to by someone as being omnisexual. Now, to understand this, you have to break down other aspects of human sexuality and gender identity. I was born a man. I identify myself as a man. And most women, if we're using the status quo as a jumping off point, would likely identify themselves as a woman. However, it is not as straightforward for others. Some men, although born as men, do not identify themselves as men. What they see when they look in the mirror is a woman. And the same for women. When they look in the mirror, they see a man. And by that, I don't mean that one time I got caught peeping in the ladies changing, moving swiftly on. Humans who do not identify themselves into the gender they were born in are called transgender. These are individuals that you hear about transitioning or changing themselves from a female to a male or a male to a female. Unless you're Gerald Brovlovsky and you change yourself into a dolphin. But I digress. Intersex, also known as a hermaphrodite, is a person whose sexual anatomy or chromosomes do not fit with the traditional markers of female and male. For example, people born with both female and male anatomy or genitalia. Next on our list is agender, described as individuals that find they have no gender identity. Although some define this more as having a Gender identity that is neutral, i.e. they don't identify themselves as male or female. Also close to this identity is non-binary and neutroir. Pronounced neutrois if you're uncultured like many of you are. But I'm not going to go into those as I'm literally losing the will to live. Let's move on. Gender fluid. 
A gender fluid person may identify as male, female, agender or non-binary identity or some combination of said identities at any time. What? Ugh, moving on. Gender queer. <sighs> All of the above in no particular order or preference and depending on the time of the month or which coffee shop they may be at at the time. Androgyny is a gender which is simultaneously feminine and masculine, although not necessarily in equal amounts. See also femandrogyny, androgyny, and verse androgyny. <laughs> I need a drink. By gender, people who experience exactly two gender identities, either simultaneously or varying between the two. Oh, you're just pulling my leg now, I swear. Cisgender. A bunch of wannabes desperate to have a gender label because they simply can't say that they are male or female because this is 2016 and everything has to be so fucking complicated for no reason. Anyway, once you've understood all of the above gender identities, you can understand pansexuality. Object sexuality or object philia is a sexual preference or love for inanimate objects. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fictosexual, a sexual attraction to fictional characters. Basically, you want to fuck Edward Vampire Douche or Christian Grey. Gerontosexual, a sexual attraction to the elderly. Paedophilia, uh, well, see the Catholic Church or Jimmy Savile for references. In all seriousness, this video is meant to be both educational and sarcastic at the same time and to bring a spotlight on the complexities of being human. Of course, being human, the most important identity one could carry. And if now you complain that you don't identify as a human and that I'm being species, then go to Dover Cliffs and kiss the rocks below for me. Head first. Thank you for watching. In the description box below, you will find links to websites that both helped me with my descriptions and confused seven shades of shit out of me. I welcome all comments and please sub and like or dislike. Now let normality resume. Ah, uh, that's my usual sign off to my other videos. Uh, please don't, I'm not calling anyone.